Okay, so today we have uh, Tuyo by uh, Rodrigo Amarante. Um, it's from a live version on YouTube. Let me just play a little bit and see if you want to do it. Introduction. Um, okay, standard tuning, 4-4 four, four time. The right hand we're going to keep simple. He does do um, variations, but he's basically doing what I just did there throughout the whole piece. Capo or capo on the 4. And let me just show you the right hand first. So the bass is going to change depending on the chord, but generally speaking, uh, in the count we are 1, uh, and da, right? And that would be thumb on the 1. Uh, middle and ring on the third and second string on the E, and then miss the and ah, on the fourth string. So if we do that on the A minor, if you don't know an A minor, remember, if in case you don't know as well, so one, two, three, four on the left hand or your fretting hand, thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, obviously, but we go P, I, M, A, E, but we're not going to use E today. So your first finger on the first fret of the second string, your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and your third finger on the th second fret of the third string. So that's our A minor. Now we'll just practice that right hand there, okay? So thumb on the fifth, ring and uh, middle on the uh, three and two, and index on the four. Okay, so it's Like I say in the count, we'll go one, uh, and, uh, 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 one, uh, whoops, so one, uh, and, uh, two, uh, and, uh, three, uh, and, uh, four, uh, and, uh, and, uh, okay? So, that's basically what the right hand does throughout. The, the thumb will change depending on the chord, so for instance, when we get the F6, Seven. Thumb goes to the sixth string, but it's generally uh, on the fifth for uh, the A minor, the B minor seven flat and five, uh, the C six, etc. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is right. It's from the live record. You can see what his fingers are doing. So let's give it a go. So your intro, we start from the A minor, but we lead from the fourth string. You start on the E here. So oh yes, by the way, the the chord shapes are the forms, not the key. So, you know, I'm saying A minor, but that's actually a C sharp minor, okay? But it's just, we're using the, the forms of the chord in uh, relative to the capital, okay? So, A minor, so we start with the thumb on the four, and then we pinch with the middle and ring, and play the four again with the index, right? Now, to get a C6, we stay on the A minor, and we add our little finger, the fourth finger, to the third fret on the fifth string. And now we play five. Three and two, four. So that first part. Okay. Now, next bar, we're going to uh, B minor seven flat and five. Now, first finger goes to the two on the fifth. Second finger goes to the two on the third. Third finger goes to the three on the four. And your fourth finger goes to the three on the two. Okay. And then it's five, two and three, four. Now to get the F6, we just move, we keep fingers three, two, four in position and move your first finger to the first fret on the, on the sixth string, okay? And that's when your thumb would change, so you're going... Right? Now to get to an E7, leave your little finger where it is, second finger goes to the two on the fifth string and your first finger goes to the one on the third string. And then it's six, two and three, four. Now it's an E7 slash B, so we're going to play the fifth string. Five, two and four, there, sorry, uh, two and three, and then four, and then we'll go back to an A minor. Same as before, five, two and three, four, and then six, two and three, four, on the A minor. It's an A minor slash E. Right, so our first four bars there, so have. Sort of walking bass here. 
Next line, okay? Very similar to slight variation at the end. So we're starting in A minor. So like before, that's five, two and three, four on the plug. To a C6, add your fourth finger again. The B uh, minor seven, flat and five. To the F6. The E7. To the E7 slash B. And then you jump to a C6 here. Lift off your fourth finger for the A minor. Back to the B minor seven uh, flat and five. And then an E seven. And then an A minor. So that's our introduction. Okay. Uh, I can't remember what it was from. I think it's called I Guess Solo or something it was called. I can't remember. That doesn't sound right, but it was it's a live performance on YouTube. So let me show you that uh, introduction one more time. I played very slowly, so. So it's the same principle, A minor with the five, two and the three, four. I'm just going to do that throughout. It does, like I say, there is variations, but just keep it simple for now. So we, again, we're at the A minor to the C6, to the B flat, uh, B minor seven flat and five, to the F6, to the E dominant seven, B with E dominant seven slash B. It's basically the same as the intro, isn't it? So then again, A minor, C, 6, B, F, B, 7, with the B, or the A minor. Now, the next, so you do that twice, and then the next chord is an A dominant 7th, but he plays it like this, right? You can see it in the video. Uh, like that. So that's your second, uh, sorry, first finger on the second fret of the second string, fourth finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string. And then it's five, two, three, four. Right? Now, here he plays a D minor seven, like this, because he walks the bass, right? So, but then we've got to switch our finger. So now he plays five, two, and one, three. So that's, that's like the variation that he does at that point, you see? So that's your first finger on the five of the five, second finger on the five of the three, third finger on the five of the one, and your fourth finger on the six of the two. Now, like I said, the first finger walks between the fifth and the sixth, sixth string. So let me show you that pattern. So you go five, one and two, three, and then move the first finger to the sixth string, play the six, and then one and two, and then back to the five. So it should go like that. Just a little variation he does when he, when he changes up the, the pre-chorus part. Now, it goes into a G7 with an augmented root here. So we have uh, a bar on the three, second finger to the fourth string on the, on the sixth string, and your third finger to the fourth fret on the third string. And now we'll play six. Uh, you see, so it's six, two and three, four, six, two and three, four. Now he plays a C with uh, the, the A form here, so it's a, you can do a bar. Oh, you don't really need it, but let's say th first finger on the third fret of the fifth string and an A shape on the fifth fret there. So that's second on the fourth, third on the third, fourth on the second, and then same uh, similar strings five, two, and three, four, five, two, and three, four. Now it goes to the F6, which we already know, the B minor seven flat and five, which we already know, E7. Cheers. Yeah, that's it. So we're going <clears> to <throat> hammer. The f the f so the first finger starts on the two of the four. And then hammer your second finger to the three. Play the two. Oh no, 
I said, sorry, he plays the five there, so it's, like that. so it's the hammer, so I'm just doing this from memory. To the three, two, five on the five, three, two, open six, and then that'll lead you into the F six chord again. You go to an A minor, same strings as before, five, three, and two, four. Now A minor slash G, put your fourth finger on the third of the sixth there, and you go six, two, and three, four. Now it's an F sus four, so it's kind of like the six, but we don't put the little finger on, okay? And then an E dominant seventh, and an A minor, and he stops, and it goes back into the verse. So let me see if I can play that all the way through for you. I don't really know the song, so forgive any, any mistakes. So, so this is the verse, this is when he starts singing. Played slow as well. Oh no, I think that's the builders turning up. Please, God, no, I'm sick of building work. Something like that, sorry there was a couple of mistakes in there. All right, and then he whistles, I and mean, just plays the verse through again, like I've just played this. So you've got the, the A minor six, sorry, the A minor, to the C six, to the B flat seven, that's so the B minor seven, flat and five, sorry, to the F six, E seven, the B, A minor, to the E, A minor, B minor 7 the same, right? But this time, instead of going the the the, the G7 with the augmented G sharp, we are going to the G6. So it's a bar on the 3, third finger on the 5 of the 4, second finger on the 4 of the 3, fourth finger on the 5 of the 2. And then it's the, the, the pattern would be 6, Seven, which is very easy, we just put first, keep the shape, put our first finger down to the three on the fifth string, and then F6, and then he goes to the B flat minus seventh, sorry, B minus seven flat and fifth. If you're getting that wrong with A, it's early, and then back to the F6, E dominant seventh. song i think it's from a, a movie or something narcos i've never seen it i don't know what it is but the um so i can't play it all the way through because 
keep on getting copyright things off YouTube, and you, you, you must only be able to play for like a couple of seconds. So that's all your bits. Hopefully I explained it correctly. If you would like the chord progression and the chord forms, you can send me a super thanks in your email and I'll email them to you, pay what you want. Uh, I'm an online guitar teacher. If you would like face-to-face -face classes, um, get in touch. There's a link in the description below. We can get in contact and get them started. And if you're not, just consider liking and subscribing, commenting, all that sort of stuff. I think I also have a membership program on here now, so you can become a member. Uh, nothing else. Just have a wonderful day.